Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're looking at the great Divi Plus plugin today. It's a great extension for the Divi theme itself. It's a premium plugin. It comes with 50 modules, four extensions, and there's plenty of modules. And there's some great modules here. There really are. And what we're going to do today is we're going to build this CoverFlow 3D sort of slider with it really easy to do so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder okay first thing I'm going to do is create a new row little green button to create a new row I'm going to put in a single column now Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here and there's plenty of them to build just about any site all the ones with a DP in front of them are the ones you get with Divi plus and there's about 50 of them there really is some great plugins here one I want today is DP Image Card Carousel. So I'm going to hit that. And it says no results found because we haven't created anything yet. But before we actually create something, I'm going to delete the one we've got on top. So I'm going to just delete this whole row here. And we'll go back in here and start from scratch. So let's add a new image card. We'll give it a title. I'm going to keep it very simple, card one. <laughs> and we'll add a bit of dummy content i've got lorem ipsum open here just copy a bit of content there and pop it in here and this is just like any other text module you can do paragraphs and heading text bold italicized and link things if you want to you can also add media if you want to as you can see it's popped a little card right there let's pop an image in there there we go I'm not going to use an icon you can add an icon if you want to I will use a button though if we click on the button a little switch to show the button now you can style your button in the design settings by hitting the use custom styles I'm going to leave mine just as it is for the default one for simplicity today obviously put what your button wants to say in there the defaults read more Put the URL that you want your button to go to right there when people click on it. And usual best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to a different site, open in a new tab so your site stays open. Now you can also, if you want to, link the module itself. So anywhere they click other than on the button, you can put a link in here and it'll take them there. And of course, you can put in a background color if you want to. I'm going to keep mine white okay let's move on to our little design tab I'm not going to spend too much time styling these you can set the text general right here you can make it light dark line it where you want you can set the title and the content separately here if you want to again I'm just going to leave mine on the default but you can uppercase lowercase italicize however you want again align give it some color and of course Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts they really do have a crazy amount of fonts this theme and if you want to choose one just go in there hover over it it'll give you an example of what they've got but you're not going to run out of fonts very quickly <laughs> okay well let's get continue going down just return that regular text to what it was Okay, we've not got an icon there's the button don't want to do any sizing or anything like this spacing wise i think there's enough padding within there i'm going to put a little border around it so it's encased in a little border so i've clicked on the border do all four at once top right bottom or left if you want to i'm just gonna make it a single pixel and leave it that color so we've got a nice little card there very simple great so let's save this and add a couple more and what I'm going to do is simply clone this one right here three four five six and as you can see it started rolling already because we've got a few here now while we're in the main slider settings I'll show you some of the effects that we can do with it 
and it's got some fantastic effects that is just a regular slide when it gets to the end it's going to go back to the top again you can enable it to loop if you want to keep it going around next one then is a cube very interesting effect I'm not sure if it will work for one that's quite as big as this but it actually cube rotates like that and again that's a nice little effect obviously they're all the same at the moment I'll change that out in a moment you've also got a flip where it'll actually flip like a little flip box from one to the next but the one we're actually going to use today is called cover flow and this one's great because you can kind of give it a 3d effect as you can see they sort of roll in and do their thing what I'm going to do now though is I'll pause this video and I'm just going to change the names of these other ones and perhaps change the images out just so we've got something different to look at in each slide and all I'm going to do is go in card 2 and then I'm going to change the image everything else I'm going to leave the same okay I've just done the last one now so we've got six cards that look a little bit different from each other anyway all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this and I want to make this full width and to do that I'm going to make my row full width so we're going to go up into the green tab hit the little cog I'm going to go over to design sizing width I'm going to take up to 100% and I'm going to copy that and put it in the max width below or you can just type it in if you prefer we've now got one that stretches the whole of the screen size if I just save that as you can see that's a little crazy right there what I'm going to do is up the number of slides that we've got showing here so I'm going to go into it I'm going to go down to our slider number of cards per view I'm going to make mine five so it's an odd number so I've still got one in the middle all the time there we go that looks a little better and you can say number of slides per group if you want more than one slide to slide at once I'm going to take the actual space between those slides down a bit so they're almost touching each other and you can go negative if you want to but I'm also going to put the loop on so it goes round and round and round I'm going to actually take that from 10 to zero you can type in a value or use the slider whatever you want to do there you can add slide shadow by turning this on and it gives it more of a bit of depth there adds a bit of shadow in there if that's a bit too much for you we've got the shadow color here make it whatever color you want and take the opacity down until it works for you I think something like that is quite nice okay now you've got cover flow rotate the amount that your actual cards are rotated and you can slide it up and down I'm going to get mine just so they're about touching each other a little bit more than that something like that that works for me I like the look of that cover flow depth you can bring this up it'll make it smaller behind and bring it down it'll make them larger and as with most Divi modules if you do something you don't like what you've done you can simply select it delete it it'll go back to the default for you but I kind of like that around the 200 mark there so I'm going to leave mine just like that and as you can see it's rolling along nicely that's pretty much all there is to it if we go down a bit obviously we've got autoplay enabled here so it's going to autoplay for us the delay is 300 milliseconds that will give it all time to load pause on hover I like that because if you put your mouse on it it's going to pause and people can read the writing and click the button if they want to that's not going to work when we're in the back end here transition duration the time one takes to get to the other one is 1000 milliseconds or one second that's great you can choose to show arrows if you want to if I switch that on you see a little arrow right and left there I don't particularly want arrows 
and you can show dot pagination if you want to also which is down the bottom right there I quite like that I'm gonna leave that one on and you can choose to have a solid dot transparent dot stretch dot so they're crazy shapes and things but I'm quite happy with a solid dot background I'm not going to give it a background if we go into our design we covered most of the things when we did our actual individual cards there you can change your dot pagination color here so the active dot let's make that blue and the other one I'm going to leave that gray there that's absolutely fine for me don't want to do any sizing or spacing don't want to put any more borders around it or any box shadow so I think we're done so let's save our changes here save the page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and we'll exit the visual builder so there it is there's how to create a 3d cover flow slider using the great Divi plus plugin it really is a great addition to the Divi theme itself and as I mentioned I'll put the link below the video if you want to check it out please do so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day